Hey guys, Kevin with Water Monster here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all you do it yourselfers out there how to build your own touch free manifold system. Now, if you're not a hands on person, and you'd rather just purchase it through our website, we'll deliver it right to your front door. Just go to watermonster.us and you'll have it in seven to 10 days. Now, a little bit about our manifold design here. It is designed to hook up right to our 125 gallon water monster tank, and the manifolds are six foot long but we do offer uh, dispensing distances at three foot and six foot. You can set it up to dispense on one side or on both sides, or you can stagger them to go every other side if you want to. Uh, the manifolds, you can set up multiple where you can go 20 foot, 50 foot, even 100 foot. So whether you got a small event or a big event, we've got a hydration solution that'll help you meet the social distancing standards of today and when things get back to normal you can go back to your three foot settings and you can get a little more people in there either way we, we got you covered so i want to show you our high speed dis dispenser it's called the ultra spout so what you do is you take your your glass or your cup here and it's like a soda fountain dispenser you just simply just press into it and the water comes out and it's a lot uh, more sanitized than using your finger and pressing on the spigots right now now we are working on a foot pedal design where you'll just press it down and this will just uh, open up by itself. And if you'll send me an email at kevin at watermonster.us, we'll get you on our news feed and we can keep you updated when that product's ready uh, to be sold. So uh, all that being said, let's get started and show you guys how to build your own manifold system. All right, here's the complete list of parts and pieces you'll need to cut. And let's look at the PVC part first here. So you're going to get a 10 foot stick of uh, inch and a half schedule 40 PVC pipe. And uh, these are all the quantities and lengths you're going to cut. But I want you to note that when you buy that 10 foot stick to get full utilization of it, this is what you're going to cut. And unfortunately, you're going to be seven inches short. So you will have to buy another piece to get that front pipe. Uh, the parts list here, pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to note that the cam lock uh, you want to type F here for the sawhorse and down here for the manifold, a type B for that. Very important. And on the ultra spout and the connectors for it, you're going to buy that through our website. We have all that pre-packaged and ready to go. So this is all just for the manifold and the ultra spouts. We have all that you can purchase on our website. The first sub-assembly you're going to build are your two legs. So you're going to take your 35-inch uh, pipe and your inch and a half cap and some PVC pipe glue. I use, I like to use this type of glue here because it already has the primer and the glue mix. So it's just a one step application versus two. And go ahead and apply your glue in the cap and on the pipe, fit them together and do that for both legs. All right, the next sub assembly is gonna be the sawhorse. This is a very important piece. It's critical we get this right. So you're gonna take your one inch male, screw it in to the bushing here, apply your glue here and inside the T fit those together, apply more glue here, and then on the, the connecting piece, put them together, and then stop. Do not glue this part yet. We're gonna get back to that. So go ahead and do this part first here. Okay, guys, I've gone ahead and built my part and glued it together. Now we're gonna talk about a very important part, which is getting a 45 degree angle on your sawhorse legs. This is very important. <clears throat> In this example, what I did is I took a a four by four wooden block and I sawed off 22 and a half degrees on each side to make a jig right here. There's other ways that you can do that and we'll talk about, but in this example, what you would do is we're just gonna dry fit it. You put them in there and practice and get them aligned. As you can see, that is set up. So now if I wanted to, I could put my glue here, glue here, put it in. And remember, you don't have much time. So when you put that glue on, you gotta move kind of quick. It'll dry within, you know, five or 10 seconds, and then you're kind of locked in. So uh, another way you can do this <clears throat> is you can go ahead and put in your legs in each side here. And so have your whole legs and you can cut out a big cardboard, uh, 45 degree angle of a, just a piece of cardboard and use that as your jig and have your legs already in there. And you'll have a much larger area to, to work with. But again, once you put that glue in there, you don't have a lot of time. So you got to move quick. Now we're gonna build the entire manifold here. So we're gonna start off with the uh, female cam lock that screws into the bushing. The bushing glues into the coupling. The coupling glues into the 14 inch pipe. And the pipe glues into the four way. Install your two bushings that have a half inch 
female thread on each side. Then you've got your 34 inch pipe that glues in. And then you have the same thing on this side. And then finally, this is the seven inch piece. When you glue this together, it is very important that this cross and this cross are level. You do not want them crooked. So assembling this on a flat table is a good idea. And just make sure that you get those two uh, level. Okay. Now that your manifold is built, the kit that you'll purchase from us is going to be the Ultra Spout kit. It has the Ultra Spout, the spacer, the female cam lock, a cap, and the male part. So once you install this male piece right here, it's now very easy to interchange the Ultra Spout, or if you don't want to use it, you can simply cap it off. And I can promise you I've done this a lot. Having these is a plug and play or a whole lot better than having to screw in the Ultra Spout or screw in a plug. This just makes it real nice and easy. Okay guys, now we're gonna assemble the manifold to the sawhorse piece. So in doing so, you've noticed I've already put the legs into the sawhorse. So you're not gonna glue the legs in. In fact, when you set your manifold up and have water flowing in it, water will go into the legs and that's gonna make it more stable and uh, it doesn't leak, so don't worry about that. At any rate, so now that you've got the legs into the sawhorse, you're gonna take your manifold, stand up like so in a chair, and when you, I want you to dry fit this at first. So go ahead and, and put it in there. And the important thing to know is you gotta look down the barrel of the manifold and you wanna twist these outlets so that they're parallel with the ground. It's very important. And if you want, you can take a magic marker and just draw a line on your sawhorse and one on the pipe so you know you've got it aligned correctly. And then you can take it apart and then apply your glue here, glue in here, and then get your, uh, your magic mark lined up so that you know this is straight. Very important to do that. All right, now that you've got your manifold built, now it's time to set it up and hook it up to the water monster tank. But before we do that, I wanna mention a couple parts that we didn't talk about earlier. This one inch male cam lock fitting, you've already ordered it for the manifold, but you're gonna need an extra one for each water monster tank. This is gonna screw into the one inch ball valve. And also at the end of your manifold, whether you have one manifold or 10 manifolds, you're gonna to need to cap off the very end. So this is a one inch cap. So you're gonna to need to buy these as well. Anyway, let's get this set up here. So first off, we're gonna put the fitting here into the ball valve. Just screw it on hand tight. Then take your manifold and your two legs. We're just gonna dry fit them in. I mean, they're good and snug. And go ahead and plug it straight in. And then you're gonna pull these levers back and that locks it into place. We're gonna repeat it. As we've talked about, these legs are gonna fill up with water. That's gonna add weight and stability. So you don't wanna glue them. Plug it in, pull the levers back. And finally, we're gonna cap off the very end. Okay. We're all set up. Now we're going to uh, run, turn the ball valve on, run some water through it, hook up our ultra spouts and uh, test it out. Okay, now we're ready to flush the lines and install the ultra spouts. Here we go. First part, open the ball valve and the water monster tank and let the water flow all the way through, let it flush out. When you see the water coming out of the spouts, turn the water off. Now go ahead and start installing your ultra spouts. And I can tell you, these quick disconnect cam lock fittings are great. If you were having to screw in these ultra spouts individually over time, it becomes a hassle. You have to worry about people cross threading them. Uh, it's, it's just, it's a little bit of extra money, but it goes a long way on convenience. Also makes them easy just to take them off real quick. Uh, to store them, to uh, clean them. Just, it just makes life a lot easier. Okay, now we're gonna turn the water back on. And now we've gotta purge the line here. So you've gotta go ahead and activate each one and get the air pockets out. See that? Okay, all the air's out. And you're ready to hydrate. 
Okay, guys, that completes the assembly video. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. If it's not something you guys want to mess with, just go to our website and purchase one. We'll ship it right to your front door. We've got plenty in stock. So at any rate, I'm here to help. If you have any questions, concerns, call me, email me, kevin at watermonster.us, and good luck with your manifold system.